Hi guys, today we're making a video about something a little different. So let's talk about the fitness lifestyle. So <clears throat> today people are very health conscious, very figure conscious, and people are just flooding to, to gyms all over the country, especially this is the first of the year now, people got their New Year's resolutions, they're in there, they're, they're hitting the gym. Um, but when it comes to physical fitness and, and living that fig, um, you know, fitness lifestyle, you know, it comes with its costs too. You know, when, you know, when you're pushing weights all the time, that can have an effect on the spine. And in this patient here, she lives a fitness lifestyle. She's actually a fitness competitor. Um, so I like to, you know, for her to give her her perspective on, you know, why it's important to get chiropractic care if you're going to be part of a fitness lifestyle. Yeah, for sure. Um, so you know, being super super active, I mean, you're putting so much stress and pressure on your joints, your muscles, on a regular basis. And to be honest with you, I'm I'm busy outside of that as well. You know, working mom, two boys, you know, I, I don't, uh, I have to go, 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 right? So feeling good is really, really important to me. Um, so, you know, while I was training for the competitions, um, you know, I would do my stretching, I would do, you know, all the things that you need to do there. Uh, but I really had started developing some pain, especially in my uh, hips and low back. Um, and then my, my shoulders and everything were starting to, to get some pain. It was really hindering my progress. And so, you know, I've, I've tried the massage, deep tissue massages, um, and they were good temporarily, but I just kind of felt like it would all come back, just like it was. So um, I reached out to Dr. Waller and I, was, I just said, hey, you know, here's what's going on. So he came in and um, did the full evaluation. And really saw that you know I had some things out out of whack he knows how to say things better than I do but out of whack is correct out of whack and so <laughs> after just getting me aligned and realizing how tight and bound up I was here too um, I've really been able to work through those challenges so I feel like I'm lifting heavier um, I'm not having that uh, deep pain afterwards and I'm able to just kind of live my life um, you know, a lot better just from the chiropractic care I've been receiving. Yeah, because there's a concept, you know, especially in the fitness world, that when people hurt, you know, they're, they're dealing with muscle issues. And a lot of people think that, you know, muscles kind of do their own thing. So maybe they got a tight hamstring or something that's limiting mobility, and they keep treating the muscle over and over. And there's definitely a time and place for soft tissue work. But what the, it, the truth is, is that muscles are kind of like light bulbs. They just don't spontaneously turn on and start spasming and getting tight. They do it only when the nerve that's controlling them is telling them to do that. So the way that plays into what we do is that, you know, when people damage their spine, those nerves that exit the spine are irritated and whatever they control, whatever muscle groups they control, those muscles will then start to contract into a spasm. Maybe not so bad that it actually causes pain, maybe it's just a limitation of range of motion, which for athletes that can predispose them to sprains and strains. Um, but when you're in fitness and stuff like that, it can, it can really uh, affect the strength of your workouts, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, instead of treating the muscle, we've got to first identify if there's spinal damage causing the muscle to be in spasm. And if that's the case, we'll correct that, okay, and then let, let the muscle just go back to its normal tone, do its normal job. In most of the cases, that'll resolve it. But if there is a time and place that, you know, maybe you have a lot of scarring in the fascia, then a good you know, deep tissue person can really get in there and help liberate that, but you got to turn that muscle off and let it operate properly or just kind of you're spinning your wheels on that. So uh, let's go ahead and get her adjusted up. So I found three different spots. She's been a patient for a little while, so I found a little pressure here in her low back, uh, actually her left SI joint is uh, limiting her pelvic range of motion uh, and a spot in her neck and a spot a little bit lower. So let's actually start low today. We're going to walk over here. In God's study, we lay on your side facing me. We have that x ray to know how to correct everything so we don't just randomly pop a bone. Let's lay down. Straight up by that one. Scoot up just a little bit. Bring this one back. So we'll roll up toward me. Perfect. That's nice and easy. I'm going to go over here. This is the one that usually gives her the most trouble. 
the more chronic or old the problem is, the more it's likely to show up over time. That'd be great. Wow. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, essentially when you get that damage, the body's essentially going to try to start fusing that joint. So if it's been decades since somebody's had the injury and never really received, received care, and there can be a lot of scar tissue around it that can really make it hard to move that joint. Motion to make sure the joints move the way I want. Excellent. Great, guys. So if you're into the fitness lifestyle and not feeling the way you should, find a good constant chiropractor and let them check you out. You know, you'll be amazed how much better you'll feel and how much better you'll function.